we have psychrophiles. Psycho, uh, let me change the color to blue because I have this color coded as well. So it will help you understand and remember um, what we need to learn. So psychrophiles are cold, loving, uh, loving microbes. They are cold, loving microbes. And their temperature range is from like negative 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. And their optimal range is uh, 10 degrees to 15 degrees Celsius. Now, um, microbes, well, let's jump to the environment. So, we know the temperature range of the uh, psychrophiles. Well, what does their environment actually look like? Well, their environment is um, the ox oxygen, <laughs> the ocean, the ocean depths. So, we have ocean. The ocean depth and like polar regions so that's where you can find psychrophiles so an example of that a microbe that is a psychrophile is psychrobacter Articus. Let's go back because I spelled that wrong. I'm missing an R. It's R C. There. So that is an example of a psychrophile. Hello, thanks for joining. Our next one is mesophile. And we're going to do green. Now, a mesophile, that temperature range is uh, 10 degrees to 45 degrees Celsius. And their optimal temperature is 25 degrees to 40 degrees. Now, the optimal temperature is the range where they grow the best. And that environment, what that environment looks like is animal bodies, our bodies. So animal bodies, our bodies. We have um, pathogenic bacteria. They are the ones that can grow at 37 degrees Celsius, the perfect temperature for them to live in our bodies and wreak habit. <laughs> And then we also have food spoilage. So in, they're also found in food, when you see food spoilage. And then an example of that is E. coli. We have E. coli in our intestines. Uh, salmonella species. Salmonella. species and then lactobacillus okay so that is the first two next one is our thermophiles these are the ones that love heat. They are heat loving. So they are heat loving. The temperature range is 40 degrees to 70 degrees Celsius. Are you familiar with the root words of these words? Yes. That's how I can remember thermo, heat, Meso is same. Uh, can I? There we go. Meso is meso is same, and psycho. I didn't look that one up. 
but I'm probably sh I'm assuming it's cold <laughs> but yeah and then the optimal temperature for thermophiles it's um, 50 degrees to 60 so 50 to 60 degrees the environment so what that environment looks like it's um, tap water hot tap water or um, you can find them in the soil so where it's where the Sun is sunlit soil as well as hot springs and what else oh compost organic compost so organic um post that should be a space yep. compost piles and the microbe uh, that you can see in this type of environment thermos m m that looks so ugly <laughs> i hate writing with these things it's so hard thermos and put a line there and it's a aqua Ticus. Thermus aquaticus. Thermus aquaticus. Let's see, another one is geobacillus. I can say that one. <laughs> geobacillus. That species. All right, so I talked about growth temperatures and the optimal growth temperature. So we have a, hold on, let's go this one. So we have a minimum, max, uh, maximum here, maximum. And we also have the optimal, so optimum. Optimum growth. So here, this will be the temperature the temperature range of where the most growth you can see. When we see the minimal temperature, you will see uh, the less growth. Now think of, great, an example, if you guys took uh, statistics, horrible, horrible flashbacks. You see here temperature and here's growth. And you see the bell curve yeah oh that's so bad too <laughs> it doesn't look like that hold on yeah here similar to that so here is our minimum let's see min this is our optimum temper uh peak and then here is our max our maximum temperature. So at the minimum temperature, you see that air is low growth, very little growth or no growth at all at some points. At this particular point, we see that there is the most growth. I need, I should draw arrows too. Air. And then at maximum, we see the same, that there is a low growth at the maximum temperature. So I would look at the bell geysers. Oh, uh, that's where hypothermophiles, hypothermophiles, and I'll get that, that's here in red. They are, you can find them there in the um, geysers. Oh yeah, hot springs too um, for the thermophiles. So that is the explanation of growth temps and the um, yeah growth temperatures. <laughs> the next one is cycrophiles, and they um, 
are similar to sacral files in some sense. So I will talk about the temperature. So let me change the color. They grow at a, a little warmer, higher temperature than sacral files. So their temperature range is zero to 30 degrees Celsius and their optimum temperature is, uh, let me put the line, the op um, optimum temperature is 20 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius. Hello, thanks for joining. Oh, you were there. <laughs> and then the environment, what that looks like is um, our refrigerator, the temperature of our refrigerator. And when you uh, see food spoilage in your refrigerator, then you know that psychotropes are present. So food spoilage. You can also find them in this natural environment. All right, let's move this. Oops, too far. Okay. So the microbe, what microbe would you see here? And you'll see Listeria. Listeria. Monocytogenus. So that's the microbe that you would see. That would be a cyclophile. Next one is hyperthermophiles. Let's see, back with red. So that temperature, their temperature range is 65 to 110 degrees, or it could be even higher than that. And their optimum growth or temperature is 85 degrees to 100 degrees and their environment as mentioned could be glaciers hot springs um, volcanic activity so where you see volcanic activity volcanic activity okay, I can't even see that let me move this volcanic activity um, these microbes also have, um, they use sulfur. They use sulfur as, uh, kind of as their quote food <laughs> and they use sulfur for their metabolic activity. And we see purple sulfur bacteria, green sulfur, um, bacteria, so sulfur and a part of their metabolic, metabolic activity and then deep sea deep sea um, hydrothermals hydrothermals thermal vents there you go so those are some place a uh, couple places that you can see hyperthermophiles an example we have pyro, pyro bolus, and another one is pyro, pyro. Oh, hold on, let's go back. D I C T U M. I U M. Okay, there's an I right there. And the M. Hello, thanks for joining. So that is another pyrodictium is another microbe that is a hyperthermophile. So how are you going to remember? How are you going to remember this? Well, I am so fond of micro mind mapping. It gives you another way to remember the material. 
So we're going back to Psycho Files. And you can use this with um, the other uh, microbes. So I'll give you a general. So you have Psycho Files here in the center. Then stemming from that, you can write the temperature. Now we have a basic temperature range, negative 10 to uh, 15 degrees Celsius, but then we also have an optimal temperature. And that optimal temperature range is 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Next, we have our microbe. Our microbes. Now you can list as many as you want to help you remember, um, but I am going to abbreviate here uh, A for one of our examples. And then the next one is the environment. Where can you find these psychophiles? Well, one was the ocean. Oops, I gotta spell ocean. <laughs> the ocean. back the ocean well uh, be specific ocean depth and then polar regions regions and that's how I would micro mind map these and I would color code them so you know blue blue represents cold these um, types of microbes live are cold loving microbes and they live where in the ocean depth and this is part of um, your micro dumping is explaining what you have learned hello thanks for joining is explaining what you have studied what you have learned in your own words and putting it in your own words so what you can do right here is actually explain your micro mind map so these are um, psycho files they are and I spelled it wrong <laughs> I'm missing a Y I'm missing a Y in there but they are psycho files they are code loving and let me back this up they are code loving check well, what are their temperatures? The temperature range, negative 10 to negative 15, but they, um, their optimal temperature for maximum growth is between 10 and 15 degrees. Well, what environment do they live in? They live in ocean depths and uh, polar regions. And then what microbes can I find in these regions? Well, I can find um, Psychobacter articicus or some other microbe and another microbe and that's you dumping what you just learned you just micro mind map it and now you're dumping it out in your own words so that's how you can micro mind map and dump what you have learned out after dumping everything out you can also have questions so here are some questions that you can answer and put them in the comments if you like and I will go ahead and check so on um, the first question and this is all for my three-part video series so I will be talking about um, the pH tomorrow and you can answer this question for tomorrow so number one what type of microbes are able to tolerate acidic environments number two what is the optimal temperature of pathogenic bacteria that question you can answer today because I covered that. And then number three, which organism can live in a hypertonic environment? And that question you'll be able to, you can answer that right now if you want to, if you know the answer, 